Imagine a world where a nuclear war breaks out, instantly killing hundreds of thousands of people. The aftermath of the explosion creates a massive scorching fireball composed of visible, infrared and ultraviolet light waves. The heat of the fireball is so intense that it can burn everything in its path and cause third degree burns even beyond the blast damage radius. Given the advancements in nuclear weapons technology since World War II, the effects of a nuclear war in the present day would be even more catastrophic. The consequences would be felt globally, with unimaginable destruction extending beyond the borders of any single nation. This raises critical discussions about whether nuclear weapons are necessary for maintaining peace or if they pose a global threat that must be eliminated. Join us on a journey to explore these issues and uncover the reality of nuclear war. But be prepared to witness the unimaginable as we delve into this grim topic. Despite international efforts to reduce the number of nuclear weapons, Russia has continued to develop its nuclear technology and currently holds the largest nuclear arsenal in the world. It is estimated that Russia possesses close to 6,000 nuclear warheads, representing almost half of all existing nuclear weapons worldwide. This has raised concerns about the potential for a nuclear arms race and the increased risk of a catastrophic nuclear conflict. The world is now on high alert, with leaders calling for a restraint and a peaceful resolution to the crisis in Ukraine. The consequences of a nuclear conflict would be unimaginable, with millions of innocent lives at risk and the potential for long-term environmental damage. The international community must work together to find a peaceful resolution to this crisis and prevent the catastrophic consequences of a nuclear war. Since the first nuclear bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, nuclear technology has undergone significant evolution, becoming more complex and diverse. The development of various weapons allow for both large-scale and targeted attacks, with longer ranges and greater destructive force. The atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 weighed about 4,500 kilograms and killed over 100,000 people. However, significant strides have been made in miniaturizing the technology, and today's nuclear weapons are more compact and usually weigh just a few hundred kilos. Despite their small size, they have the potential to kill millions of people, making it possible to launch atomic attacks using a variety of means, including ballistic and cruise missiles, capable of reaching every corner of the globe. Moreover, today's nuclear weapons are much smaller, lighter, and easier to deliver than they used to be and their explosive power is much greater. Some of the nuclear weapons in Russia's arsenal today are more than 50 times more powerful than those dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Russia possesses a diverse atomic arsenal, which allows it to launch attacks using land, sea, and air delivery platforms. This is known as the nuclear triad, and it is also the prerogative of the United States and China. Ballistic or cruise missiles are used for land-based weapons some of which have an intercontinental range capable of reaching distant targets, such as the United States and China. Others have shorter ranges and are aimed at the European continent. Sea-launched missiles, on the other hand, are launched from submarines that are difficult to locate, as they may be hidden underwater anywhere around the globe. Heavier bombs are still transported by air in strategic bombers that fly long distances. The advantage of the Triad is that it provides greater deterrence as well as superior strategic capability and flexibility. These dispersed platforms also make an arsenal more survivable or more difficult to destroy in a war. Metropolitan areas are often the primary targets of strategic nuclear weapons, but they can also be used to destroy crucial military assets, such as bases and naval groups. Meanwhile, tactical or non-strategic weapons are low-yield weapons, designed to restore the balance of power on the battlefield. Russia is believed to have approximately 1,900 tactical nuclear weapons in its arsenal. Considering the potential for catastrophic damage, any escalation of conflict involving nuclear weapons presents an unparalleled threat to humanity. It's vital to explore different conflict scenarios that could occur in today's world and consider the potential consequences of using these weapons. In the event of a Russian attack on Ukraine, the type of nuclear weapon used would be a key factor in determining the severity of the attack. If Russia were to use strategic nuclear weapons such as those designed to target cities, it could be interpreted as a direct attack on NATO, risking the activation of the alliance's deterrence forces. Instead, Russia is more likely to use tactical or non-strategic nuclear weapons, which are low yield and designed to be used on the battlefield to gain a tactical advantage. This would allow the Russian army to destroy militarily strategic points in Ukraine, 
such as airfields, or send a strong political message to the Ukrainian government by mounting warheads directly on missiles already deployed in conflict. Apart from premeditated attacks, the risk of incidents must also be taken into consideration, which increases during the transport of nuclear warheads or in the event of fighting near nuclear power plants. For instance, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, located in Ukraine, was recently damaged by shelling from the Russian army before they took control of it. This act poses a serious threat to the security of the whole of Europe. Nuclear tensions and weapons on high alert also increase the risk of misperception and the escalation of conflict. Well, you may be wondering what kind of damage could today's nuclear weapons cause? Nuclear weapons that exist today are much more advanced and powerful than those used in the past. Even a small-scale deployment could have devastating long-term consequences. If Russia were to use its entire atomic arsenal, it would cause parts of the world to become uninhabitable and fundamentally alter the way we live. The atmospheric overpressure caused by the shockwave from a nuclear explosion can annihilate entire buildings located tens of kilometers away. Except for those constructed with reinforced concrete, in addition, the explosion would create a huge searing fireball, capable of incinerating everything in its path, causing third-degree burns over a much larger radius than the blast damage. The fallout from the explosion would contaminate populations, leading to a rise in tumors and birth defects. The possibility of nuclear conflict remains a constant threat in the current global climate, and all nations need to work toward disarmament and peaceful solutions to conflicts. The consequences of nuclear war are too devastating to contemplate, and the world must continue to strive toward a future free of nuclear weapons. The consequences of a nuclear attack would be catastrophic, not just for the immediate area, but for the entire world. The explosion would cause a massive blast wave that could level buildings and infrastructure, and the heat would be so intense that it would cause severe burns to anyone within miles of the blast. The radiation released would also be deadly and long-lasting, causing widespread illness and death for years to come. The potential impact of a nuclear attack extends beyond the countries directly involved, affecting the entire global community. It could ignite a large-scale conflict between nations armed with nuclear weapons, leading to devastating consequences. Moreover, such an event could cause irreparable damage to international relations and trigger a dangerous cycle of nuclear arms escalation, as countries seek to defend themselves against future attacks. Taking measures to prevent a nuclear attack is crucial, and various steps can be taken to reduce the risk. Diplomatic negotiations between nuclear armed nations could help alleviate tensions and prevent misunderstandings that could lead to military action. The international community must work towards establishing agreements that limit the production and use of nuclear weapons, as well as securing existing stockpiles, improved intelligence and surveillance can also aid in detecting and thwarting potential nuclear attacks before they occur. Preventing a nuclear attack requires a coordinated and sustained effort from the global community. The ramifications of a nuclear attack are too severe to ignore, and it is essential to take all necessary steps to prevent such a catastrophic event from occurring. So guys, what are your thoughts on the potential consequences of a nuclear war? How do you think we can best prevent such an event from occurring? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on important global issues. Thank you for watching.